demonstration of how to navigate a Word document with VoiceOver on a Mac. So I'm in my Word document. I'm going to turn VoiceOver on by saying Command F5. So Command F5. VoiceOver will give me a lot of information right to begin with. So let's listen to that. Command F5. VoiceOver on Word. Caterpillar facts for kids too. Last saved by user window. Page one content, edit text, insertion at beginning of text. 43 visible lines. Caterpillar facts for kids. What are caterpillars? Caterpillars are a type of mini beast. Butterflies and moths start their lives as caterpillars as they slowly grow and change into a butterfly. All right, voiceover will continue to read the entire document after it gives me some information about what the document is. So I press the control button to pause voiceover. If I want to go ahead and continue listening from where voiceover currently is, I can go ahead and press the control button again and voiceover will continue. Butterflies and moths start their lives as caterpillars as they slowly grow and change until butterflies and moths. The process begins with... I paused again by control. Now if I want to go back and listen to voiceover from the beginning, I can do control option A. Control option is the voiceover command keys and it's written out as VO. Again, it's control option and then the letter A will read all from the beginning. Caterpillar facts for kids. What are caterpillars? Caterpillars are a type of mini beast. Butterflies and moths start their lives as caterpillars. As and again, I press control to pause the voiceover from talking. So the next way to navigate through a document would be to navigate by paragraphs. And paragraphs help me organize the information in the document into chunks. That's why we have paragraphs and not one long document with no spaces or no paragraphs. So to navigate by paragraphs, I normally can use option down arrow um, and that will take me to the next paragraph. Currently voiceover in Word, when I use option down arrow, it goes to the next paragraph, but it only reads the first line in the paragraph. Let's go ahead and do that. Option down arrow. New line. It took me to new line, which is what voiceover calls that blank space between the paragraphs. Option down arrow again. Once the last shed occurs, the caterpillar latches onto a branch and forms a cocoon out of silk. All right, that time I did not press the control button. Voiceover stopped reading at the end of the line. Let's go ahead and navigate down to the next line. Option down arrow. New line. New line. Option down arrow again. Did you know that the average lifespan of a caterpillar is three to four weeks until they change? And again, voiceover read only that line. If I want to go back to the previous line, I'm going to use option up arrow. New line. That's the new line between that blank space between paragraphs. Option up arrow again. Once the last shed occurs, the caterpillar latches onto a branch and forms a cocoon out of silk. All right, so voiceover read that first line and then stopped reading. It did not read the whole paragraph. If I want to read the whole paragraph, then I'm going to access um, the rotor. The rotor will visually appear on the screen for just a minute, and then I can continue with the rotor command and I to navigate through the rotor options. I'm looking for paragraph. <coughs> Excuse me. Once I find the paragraph section in the rotor, that option in the rotor, I'm going to stop. So to access the rotor, I'm going to use the up arrow and the right arrow simultaneously, and I'm going to keep pressing that until I get two paragraphs. Link. Up arrow, right arrow again. Table. Again. Heading. Navigation. Characters. Words. Window spots. Misspelled. Lines. Sentences. Paragraphs. There's my paragraphs. So now the rotor visually disappears from the screen, but I can use my down arrow or my up arrow to navigate through the paragraph option of the rotor. So I'm going to use my down arrow. New line. Again. Once the last shed occurs, the caterpillar latches onto a branch and forms a cocoon out of silk for protection. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar undergoes a metamorphosis. This is the scientific name for all the changes that happen in the cocoon to turn them into butterflies. So this way when I'm um, using the rotor and on paragraph, it will read the entire paragraph. If I want to go to the previous paragraph, I'm going to use up arrow. Remember, my rotor is still set to paragraphs. New line. And again, up arrow. Caterpillars are a type of mini beast. Butterflies and moths start their lives as caterpillars as they slowly grow and change until butterflies and moths. 
The process begins when they're... And again, I hit control to stop voiceover from reading the entire paragraph. But you can see how using the rotor set to paragraphs, I can navigate paragraph by paragraph. So another way I can navigate quickly through this document is by headings. Navigating by headings is a great way to skim what's here. Um, the headings are typically the bold print or the, the different sections of the document. I'm going to go ahead and open my rotor again using my up arrow and right arrow, and I'm going to stop on heading. So up arrow and right arrow. Link. Again. Table. Heading. Again, there's heading. Now that I'm on headings, I can navigate um, down the page, navigating heading by heading. So let's go ahead and use down arrow. Font caterpillar facts for kids. Fun caterpillar facts for kids. All right, next section. The life cycle of caterpillars and butterflies. Down arrow again. Page two content, edit text, insertion at beginning of word. How 85 visible lines. All right. How long does it take for a caterpillar to make a cocoon? You are currently in a text area. To, what do caterpillars eat? Okay, so I could go all the way through the document and kind of skim it by um, listening to the different sections. Or if I read the document and I want to go back and think, oh yeah, how long did it take? How many days did it take the um, caterpillar to make a cocoon? I can go back to that section and then read just that paragraph in that section. Now, if I want to go to the previous um, heading, I can use my up arrow. Again, my rotor is set to headings. How long does it take for a caterpillar to make a cocoon? How long does it take for a caterpillar to become a butterfly? There we go. So that's how I can navigate or skim quickly through the document um, by headings. All right, and to turn voiceover off, I'm gonna use Command F5. Voiceover off. 